Okay, g'day everyone. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic No Limits uh, roller coaster, uh, much similar to the one that I've got here. Um, if you haven't already done so, you could go to File, uh, New, and this will launch a new No Limits coaster. What we're currently looking at is a grassy area. Imagine you're flying in a plane and you look out the window and you can see below you a big grassy paddock. That's essentially what we're uh, looking at here. We've got a bird's eye view of uh, the grassy paddock below us. And what we'd like to do is to add some track. And in No Limits Editor, we call track um, segments. And we can do that by going and selecting the Add Vertex and Segment tool. And if your segment type isn't uh, selected as track, you might like to select track as well. I'm just going to scroll up the page a little bit here. If I wanted to add a segment of track, I can just click once, twice, and that gives me two straight pieces of track. But I can also change that uh, section of track by using my um, select and modify tool or just my arrow tool. And I can select um, the points in between these two segments. This point in between the two segments is called a vertex point and it's um, got some control points that enable me to twist the track. I can also um, pull these control points to change the degree of bend that I've got in the track. So as you can see this is a really efficient way of uh, creating some bends in your roller coaster track. Um, I should just say, as I'm scrolling um, on my mouse, I'm actually going up and down my drawing area. So that's how I'm uh, changing that view. Um, sometimes I see students select the Add Vertex and Segment uh, tool and then click lots of times to create um, a different shape in their roller coaster track. And this is a really inefficient way um, of working and it also creates a really jerky roller coaster ride. So um, I want to strongly encourage you to avoid doing that and to use the vertex points as your means of changing the shape and design of the roller coaster track. Okay, um, if you've done any, any of what I've just shown you, you might like to click and drag uh, your mouse around the, that track and press delete on your keyboard. Okay. Now let's start and create the track that I um, introduced you to before. But before we do, let's zoom in on the area a little bit using these zoom in and zoom out tools to a point where we can just start to see the grid appearing. Okay, so keeping our um, cursor in line with the first vertex point we've got there, let's add our first segment of track, a second segment in line, third one out to the side a little bit, our fourth one down towards the bottom of the page and our last two we're going to keep in line with our first vertex point there. So we'll add one around there and our final one here. Now sometimes I see students try and close um, this circuit by clicking right at the end of that first vertex point. But if you zoom in you'll notice that it doesn't matter how accurate you are with where you click, these vertex points, even if you click and drag it up, will never be closed, okay? Um, what we've got are two pieces of track that aren't actually connected. So let's just zoom out and press Control z and we'll just undo that little connection we've got. The best way to connect the track, or really the only way that you can do it, is by uh, pressing C on your keyboard, and you'll see that it's automatically connected it, and now when I select the, that vertex point, it moves both segments of track. Or I can go to Edit and Connect, and that will close uh, the circuit as well. well let's start to... Um, shape our circuit like I um, showed you in the original drawing. So let's select these vertex points and straighten up these segments of track.
as you can see, it's pretty easy to manipulate uh, these vertex points. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Much like on a normal roller coaster ride, um, there are different segments of track. So when you uh, have ridden on a roller coaster before, I'm sure you've observed that some segments of the track have little gears uh, or teeth um, that will drag you up really steep segments of the track. Some segments will have brakes. Um, other segments are just plain track. What we've actually got in front of us here are, is just plain roller coaster uh, track. There's no added features on them. So what we want to do is to change the segment types on this uh, roller coaster track. So go to segment, and to start off with, we're going to add a station. So select station, and just before that um, purple triangle, we're going to add a station segment. Now simply clicking on that segment does not change it. You can st see that it's still um, a blue color. To change it, I need to select it and then press X on my keyboard and you can see it's now turned a brown color. I'll just undo that. The other way to apply that um, is to go to segment and then segment transform and that will apply it. But I find um, pressing X on my keyboard is the easiest way. Let's select um, lift now and we're going to create a lift segment immediately after our station. So select that part of the track and again I could go to segment uh, transform or I can just press X on my keyboard. And finally I'm going to add a break segment just before I come into the station. So let's select that segment of track before the station and press X on my keyboard. So if I zoom out now, you'll see that that's the basic uh, shape and design of the roller coaster I showed you at the start of this tutorial. Um, this ends the first part of this basic roller coaster tutorial, and in the next part, I'm going to show you how we can create a lift um, and actually ride this uh, roller coaster track.